So you're living your best life with the full moon, but you're actually over it. Being a werewolf, it's not for you. Here's how to turn your werewolf sim back to a regular sim, as well as a quick mention about preventing werebees from taking hold of your sim and turning them into a werewolf, which I'll have at the end of the video. Firstly, know that there's an aspiration called Cure Seeker, which ties in with curing your sim of being a werewolf. But to unlock this, you first need to complete the Werewolf Initiate Aspiration. Thankfully, completing this is very easy and will help us get ready to find the cure. To complete this, I first recommend picking up the Scavenging Ability, and then you'll want to use this to scavenge the ground around Moonwood Mill. You'll find crystals, medals, Moonwood Mill relics, and werewolf books. Werewolf books are what we're looking for here. While scavenging the ground to find books, you'll ideally level up to be a runt werewolf. And once you find a werewolf book, you're going to want to read it three times to complete one of the aspiration tasks. Doing this will likely also unlock the Lunar Epiphany Dormant ability, letting you find out more secrets from books. The final task to complete this aspiration is that your werewolf needs to experience a full moon. This happens every 8 days and it will send your werewolf into a rampage. But a hot tip is that if you go into Game Options and in the Environment tab, then you can change the lunar cycle to be 4 or even 2 days, meaning much more frequent full moons. If you're really wanting that full moon now, then you can even set a full moon as a permanent phase, meaning it will be a full moon every single night. Note that this can come in handy for getting moon petal, which we'll talk about later too. Once you've experienced a full moon, then the following morning at 7am, provided you've completed the other tasks, you'll complete the aspiration and you'll then be able to pick the Cure Seeker aspiration. The benefit of doing it this way is that when you cure a sim through the aspiration, you'll get the Lunar Link reward trait, meaning that your sim will continue to get the Lunar Cycle benefits they had as a werewolf even after they've been cured. Also, they'll still be able to howl, which I guess is kind of cute too. Now we need to start by harvesting Moon Petal and Wolfsbane, which are ingredients for the Wolf Be Gone drink, and it's this drink that turns werewolves back to being a regular sim. You'll need 3 Moon Petal for the Wolf Be Gone drink, and harvesting the plant once will provide 3 of these. Side note is that currently the aspiration works per harvest, so to complete the aspiration, you need to harvest the Moon Petal plant 3 times, and the 10 Wolfsbane you need for the drink works in a similar way. The aspiration demands 10 harvests, but you can get 3 Wolfsbane per harvest, so really, you only need to harvest the plant 4 times to get the 10 you need to make the Wolf Be Gone drink. I do wonder if the aspiration was intended to work like this, or if it's something that will be patched in the future. In short, if you care about the aspiration, complete all the harvests, otherwise just get what you need for the drink. The Moon Petal plant is found atop the large rocky mountain in Moonwood Mill, and it can only be harvested during a full moon. Note that unless you've taken the Lunar Resistance ability, a full moon will also see your werewolf's fury spike and see them go on a rampage, which will see them unable to harvest the moon petal. That being said, the plant can be harvested from 7pm and werewolf's fury will spike from 10pm, so arrive in the 3 hour window from 7 to 10pm and you'll be able to harvest this easily. Wolfsbane can be found nearish the swimmable lake and again close to the Prowler's Patch lot. If you want to complete the aspiration, then it can be worth growing a few Wolfsbane plants in your garden too, they grow pretty quickly and it can help you reach those 10 harvests that you need. Now that you have the ingredients, we need to learn the Wolf Be Gone recipe. You might have found the Diary of Gregorius Lundvik or the Insider's Guide to Being a Werewolf books earlier. If you did, then great. If not, then keep scavenging. It can be helpful to pick up the Enhanced Smell ability and then use your werewolf to smell before digging where they notice a strong scent. Before too long, you should get one of these books. Once you have it, read it, then reread it, and keep reading it until you eventually learn how to make the Wolf Be Gone cure. This took me a lot longer than I thought it would, like days of reading, but I'd like to think that I was just unlucky. Once you've learnt how to make the Wolf Be Gone, then just make it at a bar. And after you've made it, then all you have to do is drink it and your sim will no longer be a werewolf. Note that you can only drink Wolf Be Gone while you're in human form. 
After returning to normal, your sim will gain the werewolf ally trait, essentially meaning that they can get along with werewolves easier and that they're not as easily scared by them. And if you completed the Cure Seeker aspiration, you'll get the Lunar Link trait too, which means that you'll still get benefits from the Lunar Cycle. Just before finishing up, I want to quickly talk about preventing werebees from taking hold. But firstly, what are werebees? Well, if your sim gets into a fight with a werewolf, then there's a chance that they'll get werebees. It starts as a 4 hour angry moodlet and then transforms into a 20 hour tense moodlet before your sim enters a stage where they are guaranteed to become a werewolf. They'll be uncomfortable, their hunger will plummet, and before long they'll transform. To stop your sim from getting to this stage and turning into a werewolf, you just need to cure the werebees within the first 24 hours before it truly takes hold. To do this, you can either try to sweat it out in a bed, vomit it up in the toilet, cleanse it in the shower, or run it off on a treadmill. If you're still struggling, then head to the bar in Moonwood Mill and ask the bartender for the cure. From my experience, it has been pretty easy to clear werebees. And with that, we're at the end. That's how to stop being a werewolf and how to cure werebees. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.